All right, now I'm entering the ashy area, and as long as I stay in there, what is this? Has this ever happened to you? Are you inside of a trigger and it stops working? The solution might surprise you. All right, so let's actually build this. So first of all, inside of our scripts folder, let's create a new folder called trigger. And inside of that, we're going to create a new script, which is going to be the player state. So the only thing we're going to do with this is basically check whether or not the player actually has gone inside of a trigger. Now for that, we don't need either the start or the update method. We need two other methods, and that is going to be the on trigger enter 2D. We're also going to do the on trigger stay 2D, and then just for good measure, on trigger exit 2D. So beware that in each of those methods, the parameter is called collision, even though it is a collider. I am still not 100% sure why the auto generation in Unity is not yet fixed that. We're just going to make sure that those are called colliders so that we know what it is. And then in each of them, we're going to have an if statement where we ask whether or not that collider, we're going to we're going to compare a tag and we're going to call this tag ash. And then we're just going to basically log something out. So debug log entering the ash. And then we can simply select this, copy it with control C, control V, control V. And then here we're going to say staying in the ash and then exiting the ash. There you go. And that's actually all we need to do script wise in the player state script. Make sure to not forget to take the player state script and actually add it to the player. And then we, of course, also need a trigger for this to test this. We're going to create a new empty game object. This is going to be the ash place. And there we're going to have a capsule collider. And we're just going to zoom in and move it down here to this weird looking ash place that has appeared. Right. In this case, the direction is actually horizontal. And then the size we can just adjust a little bit. So something like a two would be fine. And then we can move it to negative four and then something like negative 0.5. That's an okay sort of trigger area. And then of course, also make sure to actually check the box is trigger here. Right. In the ash place, also make sure to actually add a new tag here because that's what we're basically looking for. So we're looking for the ash tag when you have added this you must re-select the ash place game object and then choose the tag that you've just created and then uh, let's actually see if this works now as long as the player actually has a rigid body and a collider it will basically collide with this trigger and the player state will then output something to the console so let's move it down and then as you can see entering is actually put in but as you can see staying in the ashes is not actually continuing to go so we stop at 29 why is that we are definitely inside of the actual area i mean let's just move in a bit and then it continues on and the answer is instead of the rigid body in the sleeping mode actually put it to never sleep and then as you can see it continues to go up and up and up until we actually exit the ash and then it stops and if we re-enter and we stay in there this is going to take on forever until we are basically outside of the trigger again. So that's all of the magic there. The only thing that you need to do is the sleeping mode. You can actually also check this under the info tab here. If you open this, there's a sleep state. And if you put it to, to never sleep, then this will always be awake. It's not actually advised to have too many rigid bodies that are staying awake all the time. However, especially when it's only the player, then that's not actually going to be an issue. Right, and that would already be it for this video right here. I hope you found it useful, and if you learned something new, I would really appreciate a like. For more videos, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, download for all of the assets as well as the entire project is in the description below. I hope to see you in the next video. So, yeah.